And it was okay until you started accessing those files. So you told them to kill me? I would never do that. My girlfriend is dead. JJ made a mistake. Oh, JJ. That's your hitman's name, right? So he killed my girlfriend and my friend? Steve was sticking his nose where it did not belong. I warned him. And that makes killing him all right. Forget about all this and come home. We have all the markets locked down. Um, AGM has the area boys and transporters in our pockets. About so the thing is, the way I see it, we do have a plan in place to get students to vote for us, so. And uh, we've had the teachers taken care of. Of course. Can't get more local based than that. If you ask me, I would honestly say that we pretty much have every angle covered. Except for one. Adrika doesn't want to be first lady anymore. What? Ah. What did you do? Nothing. She's just tired of it all. Ah. Are you still interested in becoming the SAG? Yes. Look, but with everything that's happened, with the court case, I doubt Momo will confirm me. Don't worry about Momo. I worry. That man hates my guts. And your friend over there was drastically reduced by chances. Again, do not worry about Momo. We own Momo. Momo will do whatever it is that we ask him to do. So, flash drive. Tell me, what is the issue? It's about S.A. and Momo. What about him? Well, let's just say that um, he's playing around in dangerous waters. I'm not surprised they tried to lobby you. Those guys always get what they want. I am surprised they sent a de la Mordo. Or maybe I shouldn't be surprised, since the two of you had an amiable relationship when he was at Eagle Christ. So what's going to happen to me now? I mean, you said they always get what they want. What happens if I refuse? No, that's not what I mean. No? He was pragmatic, though. Yeah, it's a dilemma for you. Said we could lead two separate lives and only appear together for photo op. And that makes a lot of sense, considering that I want to go down in history as one of the first ladies of the state. But honestly, I am just tired of pretending. It's exhausting. But I hate that I feel that way. Hate that what I have is not enough. Hate that I must look in the mirror with unclouded eyes. That I must see the people around me. That I must decide that I want to be truly free. Oh.